As a filmmaker, um, I understand how important it is to have good sound. Some people say that sound is 80% of the movie and that if you have good sound, it'll carry the rest of the movie no matter what the visuals are. Um, in trying to push the limits of the flip video camera, I found that unless I'm really close to the microphone, um, the sound quality just really isn't so great. And that's understandable because, you know, it has a, a, a microphone that's built in and it's small. Um, and it's really meant, you know, for decent audio but not the best. However, there are ways around this. Um, with high definition, you know, you have the option of using like wireless microphones. Uh, they're fairly expensive, but they're really nice. You can plug this into an external jack on my high definition camera, and then you've got like a lapel mic, so you know you can get great sound no matter where your subject is, or during an interview, or if the uh, you know if it's windy or there's noise in the background, you can you can isolate that person's voice with a lapel mic, but these things cost, you know, three to five hundred dollars for the most basic setup and you can't even really use it with a flip video because there's no external mic. Um, no external mic jack that is. So I have found one way around that and that is, and I, and I wanted to use something that is pretty ubiquitous that everybody has and, and you know, really try to keep the cost down and, and what I found, well, and what I know pretty much for sure is that a lot of people have iPods. Well, an iPod is also a digital recorder, a very, well, actually a very decent audio recorder. And all you have to buy is something like this Belkin microphone, this Tune Talk stereo microphone for $50, and plug that into your iPod, my iPod Nano in this case. And if you have a little clip on the back and you turn it upside down, all of a sudden you have a very high quality and very cheap lapel mic. Um, and you can also use this microphone to get natural sound. So when I do an interview or when I interview Layla, um, before the interview starts, I'm gonna have her clap her hands and that spike in the sound in the, in the audio file from this will be easy to sync up with the, the actual clapping on the video. And there you go, you've added really good high quality sound to your video. Um, the second thing I'm going to do when I shoot Layla is I'm going to use this to go real close to a lot of sounds like footsteps and the water by the beach and I'm going to use those sounds to sweeten the final audio track when I go to cut the flip video footage and compare it to my really expensive uh, you know superior supposedly high definition footage from my Canon camera. So anyways, that's my tip for sound. Um, it takes a little more effort, but trust me, it's worth it. And there's a lot of things you can do with a voice and a sound and audio recorder besides adding sound to video. It's great for multimedia, it's great for a lot of things, and if you're a storyteller, you really should have something like this, and this is about as cheap as you can go. But any voice recorder that you can get right to the, the source is the best way to go, and uh, yeah, give it a shot. You'll see how it turns out.